Hey everybody, this is Chris DiFurio with Keys to the Shop. Welcome to another edition of Shift Break. Today's episode is brought to you by the Ground Control Cyclops Brewer by Voga Coffee. The Ground Control Cyclops Brewer provides you with an amazing coffee experience every time through its SCA award-winning technology, which extracts the best from your coffee and gives you incredible control over a huge range of flavors. The Ground Control is not only a powerhouse in terms of quality of your batch brew coffee, but also in terms of variability and what it can do for you and your cafe. It can make tea, hot chocolate, batch ice lattes, cold brew. It is a workhorse that surpasses your expectations every single time and will do the same for your customers, creating an amazing differentiator for your business. So if you're wanting to take your batch brew coffee to the next level and invest in a piece of equipment that grows with your business, especially in the times now where we need equipment that we can rely on and pivots with us, then I recommend highly the Ground Control Cyclops Brewer from Voga Coffee. Go to their website to find out more information about getting this amazing machine in your shop. Visit them at vogacoffee.com. That's V-O-G-A coffee.com. This episode of Shift Break is also brought to you by Espressly. Espressly works with independent coffee shops like yours to help you develop your very own beautiful, elegantly functional, branded mobile app. As mobile technology and coffee has only gotten more popular and continues on that course, you want to make sure that your customers are getting a great experience no matter how they're ordering your coffee because you work so hard to make sure that the experience they have with your brand and your business and your employees is on the money. And when it comes to mobile ordering, you want to be able to give that experience to them as well. Give them that experience they come to you for. And that is what Espressly excels in, extending that experience through your own branded mobile app. It's a no-risk model. There's no setup fee. It integrates with Square, has a drive through payment scanner, receipt and label printing capabilities, and plus you own all the data collected. Espressly is constantly improving their services to you to make this an amazing experience for both you and your customers. And they exist to make sure that independent coffee shops like yours bring the convenience of mobile ordering together with the experience that your customers love. To learn more and sign up today, Go visit them over at Espressly.co. That's Espressly.co. Okay, everybody. So today I wanted to take a quick moment to talk to you about telling the whole truth. So here's the thing. Usually when we say that we're telling the truth or we say we just have to tell the truth, right? And we say, I have to keep it real. When we use phrases like that, what we're usually indicating is that we're about to say something critical or something negative. Now, believe me, I am, (laughs) my wife will tell you, I can be a pretty critical person. I don't know if that's really a surprise to anybody, but um, I can be pretty critical, and that's a blessing and a curse in some ways, because when we tend towards the critical, I think we tend toward being able to see a lot of details. We see when things are wrong, right? Especially if you're in a leadership position, a lot of your job is centered around finding things that are wrong and bringing them into uh, where they should be, right? Danny Meyer in his book, Setting the Table, calls it returning the salt shaker to the place where it should be or the center of the table. And that's constantly what we're doing. So when we say, I just have to keep it real, or we say we're telling the truth about something The whole truth is really what we should be focusing on, not just that default towards the negative, where we tell the story to ourselves that telling the truth and keeping it real means being critical, means building up the courage to say something that's confrontational, to say something that's going to potentially offend somebody. And we build up that courage because we've been keeping it in, and that's a communication issue, but we're also... I don't find very often in myself or in um, the industry building up the courage to say things that are also true but positive. So we're not really saying keeping it real by focusing on the positive things, okay? And oftentimes that's more countercultural to say something positive after you say, look, I have to keep it real, and then you say something positive. People are not expecting that. 
It is so foreign, especially in the way we communicate in a work environment, to hear words of affirmation spoken as a part of the truth that we're speaking. If we're speaking truth to each other, we should be concerned with the whole truth and not just the critical things, not just the stuff that's hard to hear, but the stuff that is reinforcing, that's affirmational, uh, that is actually true but also positive. If we're honest with ourselves, we don't really have as much faith in the ability of positive reinforcement to do the job that negative confrontational communication will do. In our minds, we think that if I just keep it real with them, if I say what I'm was on my mind, that's going to change things. And <laughs> believe me, I've got a, a six-year-old boy who is a tornado of a, a person. And I will say things as a parent, total dad moments that are direct, that are directional, and they are just like, because I said so, that type of thing. And I find that I default more towards those corrective moments than the encouraging moments. I'm just being vulnerable with you here. It's easy to do that. And if you're a parent in the audience right now, uh, you, you understand that that is part of the struggle. And the same is true about the relationships we have in the cafe. We need to make sure that if we really want to keep it real, if we really want to tell the truth, if we really want to speak truth to each other, then we need to make sure before we speak that we're telling the whole truth. And that way, we have some balance. So the relationships that we have between each other as coworkers or boss and barista are not just void of affirmation, that there is evidence that you are focusing on the positive truths and that we're not just defaulting to putting critical analysis or um, a confrontation. A lot of the things that we need to do sometimes as, as bosses or just in life, that we're not putting that up on the highest rung of what will make a difference in our business or what will make a difference in our relationships in the business. It's all about keeping it real. It's all about telling the whole truth. I've just kind of been rolling that around in my mind, and I thought that it was worth noting especially since tensions are so high these days, um, taking this opportunity to think about how we communicate truth and telling the whole truth, I think, is so important for the health of our business and everybody involved. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode and that it spoke to you and, and helped you in some way. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you here next week on another edition of Shift Break from Keys to the Shop.